All right. So I did a little poll the other day and I asked a couple questions what you wanted me to talk about while we were waiting for people to come on here. And the one that got the most responses was, do you need to know correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar in order to have a claim of the live life? And the answer is no. And the reason is, is for example, uh, my children have live life claims. And they're not conversant in quantum grammar. Now the catch is, if you're an adult over 18, and you have a claim in the live life, but you don't know how to use correct sentence structure, well, you may be a live life claimant, but you're not gonna be able to obviously create your own correct sentence structure claims because you don't know the grammar. So you really can't use it for anything. Um, however, if you have someone that you know who knows correct sentence structure, then they can kind of guide you through it or take jurisdiction over whatever you're doing if you run into problems. Like for example, on my children's claim to the live life, I have um, autographed over the stamps on there as postmaster. I'm the postmaster and the steward of those live life claims. And as well as other family members, because they're not conversant in quantum grammar, but I am, so therefore, if any problems would arise, I would take jurisdiction over that as authority and postmaster. But that's just the way I do it. Other people do it different. Um, so that's that. The answer to that question, short answer is no. Now, I have something else that I'm going to talk about real quick that I found in a very recent video in the comments section of a recent video having to do with the quantum grammar community. And I'm going to show, um, again, something that looks like correct sentence structure, but is not. And I'm going to point out the errors. I'm going to flip my camera around and show you if I can do that here. Okay. So you're looking at this. I have graphed the comment. I've graphed it, meaning I've, I've put it in a straight line like this so you can clearly see each sentence starts with a positional except for the third line, which is a verb. So let's look at this. Does this look like correct sentence structure to you? As we all know, correct sentence structure starts with a cause. Cause in this case is for this thank you. That is a compound fact. Thank, thank hyphen you. I would like to know what the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, finite mean for thank hyphen you is. I would also like to know what the correct sentence structure, finite mean of thank is, and also the correct sentence structure, finite mean of you. In any case, what is that concerned with? Of the Mark hyphen Kishon colon space Christopher. So the cause, which is the thank you, is concerned with Mark Sean Christopher, which is a name. So then we have a singular verb is moving into the possessive, which is with the confession. With this confession is possessive of Mark hyphen Kishon colon Christopher. So it appears as though this Mark hyphen Kishon Christopher is making a confession, which is the cause of the thank you. What is the confession concerned with? It is concerned with of the Mark Kishon Christopher's lodial hyphen knowledge hyphen void. Okay, so Mark Kishon Christopher's lodial knowledge void. That's a very big compound fact and I would also like to see the finite mean of that compound fact. And then we have a forward slash which represents and. So it says and competency. So on the one hand, on the, on the port side of that forward slash, it says knowledge void. But on the starboard side of that forward slash, it says competency. So which is it? Is it a knowledge void or, or is Marcus Sean Christopher competent? We don't know because this is a direct dichotomy on both sides of this forward slash. In any case, we move on to the next 
line, which is of the, which is not correct, which throws the whole thing into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, because now the continuance of the evidence is broken because the positionals are not correct. The positionals always go for, of, verb, with, of, with, of, with, by. You would never put an of the next to an of the, which in this case has happened because it breaks the mathematical interface on the grammar. And then the sentence cannot be read correctly. The sentence does not maintain the same value forwards as it does backwards. So we have of the syntax, grammar, postal mechanic, contracts, and of the now time with this performance by this witness and neutral claimant. But we don't know who that is because they don't put their name and they don't take authority over this. So be that as it may, reading this backwards, it doesn't make any sense. Reading it forward doesn't really make any sense because of the positional, um, the positional's sequence void of the correctness. For the witness neutral claimants of this performance is with the correct syntax, grammar, postal mechanics, contracts, and with the now time. And then we have of the, and then you can see how that is not correct. So part of this same thing is the next one. For the duty. So that is the cause of this particular one. For the duty. And what is the duty concerned with? of the cease and of the terminate. So a duty is the cause, and then cease and terminate is the concern. Now we have the singular verb is, and then possessive, with the Marcus Schoen Christopher's false claims. So the false claims are, concern, are possessing the cease and the termination. And then we have this positional as. Now what how does this positional work? How, what, is, what, how, what is congruent with as? How would you read that backwards? Four positionals, four of, with, by. Four is congruent with by, of is congruent with with. What is as congruent with? There's one congruency, one function per positional. So as must have a congruency. What that is, I have never seen in a video. I have never heard a tutor say how you would read as backwards, performing its function as a positional. So I'm just gonna stop. Well, actually I'm not gonna stop there because if you go further, it says with the claim performances by the Mark Cachon Christopher. So whoever the author is of this is making claims for this man, Mark Cachon Christopher. And that's why I say correct sentence structure is 90% psychological because one does not make claims for another person. That is trespass. One does not make claims for another man or woman. That is trespass. One may only make claims for themselves. Okay, next one. So you see here, we have this colon and in space, duty hyphen performance. So this says of the duty performance, with the title hyphen 42 of the DCCS with the stop and with the correct, which is not correct because if you're going to have two position lodial phrases, then you must put a verb in there. And this is not the case here. And it starts with an of the. If it were to be correct, you would do something like that. And then you could possibly put a verb in there. Uh, and then a colon. And then you would have to do something like this. And like this. So now it makes more sense. For the duty performance of the Title 42 is with the DCCS 1986 by the stop and by the correct. That is correct sentence structure right here. What I just did. What it was before, not so much. Okay. 
So the last one for the gratitude, which is the cause of your now time honorable performance is with the correction by this witness neutral claimant. So backwards for this witness and neutral claimant of the correction. So there's a correction being made is with your now time honorable performance. So who is your? Does he mean the viewer? Well, it's very nice of the of the author to congratulate us uh, on our now time honorable performance. And he, they're thankful for it. And then the last one is of the peace. So I just thought I'd run through that real quick for anyone who is curious about having a lesson. And now I'm going to go uh, back to the comments and see if we have any comments. I've decided to leave a screenshot of the original comment along with its author uh, at the end of the video here so that the viewer can see what I'm talking about when I'm giving this syntax lesson. The purpose of this is knowledge cultivation of the viewer for those who really seriously want to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. There are a lot of folks out there who may come off as though they know correct sentence structure or have closure on it. However, when one takes a closer look at their grammar performances, this is not the case. I have done this multiple times over the years and I leave my uh, grammar open to anyone else who wants to do the same thing. If I'm making mistakes, I would want to know about it and I would want to know, uh, have closure on how to do it correct. First, I would like closure on why it's not correct and then how to do it correct. And which is exactly what I've done here. This is nothing personal. This is just, I want this to be a venue and can, I, I want this to continue to be a venue of correctness for the grammar. You wanna learn the grammar? You wanna know the correctness? There's no personal feelings involved here. It's just about the grammar and the grammatical performances. It doesn't matter to me who the author is. What matters is the grammar. It doesn't matter what their name is, where they come from, how famous they are, who they think they are. It doesn't matter. What matters is the grammar. So I'm going to leave that screenshot up here at the end. Um, if you have any grammar questions, feel free to contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Or if you want to qualify for uh, see if you qualify for a one hour correct grammar confidential video workshop. And uh, that about does it for this one. Uh, have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.